Hey everyone, Mixed Media Girl here. So I'm back for another leftover paint pour. And I'm just going to say this in every video with these leftover paint pours from now on. Excuse my hands, I've been painting a lot. Um, but how I get this whole awesome bowl of paint is I just take another bowl or if you're using cups, take another cup. When you do a pour, there's always going to be some left in there. And I just go ahead and drain them into each other. And pretty soon you have this entire awesome bowl of paint. Now I've done about a bazillion paintings the last couple days. So these are only, this is only from the last couple days. But um, if you seal it or even just keep the cups and bowls on top of each other, this will generally last days to weeks. Um, the most I've ever been able to use it at it was about three weeks. I don't recommend that long though. A few days is usually good. I am going to go ahead and do a tree ring with this. It's with the last leftover paint that I used, I did a flip cup. So the cool thing about the leftover paint pours is you never know what you're going to get because well, this is about six billion colors in here. Like totally being honest, I would say this is at least 30 different colors in here, but doesn't seem like it right now. Ooh, look at my bowl. <laughs> That's so pretty. Um, and yeah, you just, you just never know the reactions that you're going to get and the colors you're going to get. And, um, the other thing too is when paint has been sitting there for a little while, uh, it can tend to become a little bit muddy, but not to the point of it not looking good, more like it becomes almost like softer colors. Now in this specific bowl, I have an unusual occurrence in that there was actually accidentally a little bit of silicone in there. And by a little bit, I do mean a little bit, but it's in there. So I can already see those crazy cells popping up. And I hope it does not continue too much to the point where I don't like the painting. Those are some really interesting cells. <laughs> but this is also part of the surprise game with the leftover paint. Um, I have a policy to never put silicone in my bowls because then it's gonna be really hard to clean out but well it accidentally happened this time so I'm gonna let this sit here for a little while we'll see anything else that changes develops other cells that pop up and then we'll do a close-up okay we're back so some definite cell production over here. I actually don't mind it. I kind of like that it's all over on this side. When it was only like two or three cells, it was bothering me a little bit, but this is kind of fun. Definitely interesting, a bit different. So let's go ahead and do our close up. All right, just starting in the lower right hand corner. So coming up, you see these really funky cells up here. I have a feeling that some more might develop before it's dry, but who knows. Um, this side's definitely my favorite, this left side over here. Love all the colors in this. Pretty wild. <laughs> all right, guys, so there it is, leftover paint pour. I highly, highly recommend that you save as much of that leftover paint as you can. Um, you can see here on my sheet, I don't have a lot of paint down here, but let's say you do, let's say you end up using too much paint. You can even, uh, hopefully you're using like a silicone mat or sometimes I use parchment paper because I can dry the skins on there. But let's say you have too much paint, you can actually lift that up and pour it back into your cup or bowl and use it again. Um, this isn't enough to really do that with, but it's enough to maybe get some fun skins from and make some jewelry or something. But definitely save as much of your paint as you can and reuse. So minimal waste is definitely best. And I will see you all next time.